Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, pianist, composer, piano and composition teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link below in the description, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel in case you are interested in original music and covers. Going back to the Piano Lessons to Go channel, don't forget to subscribe and to share also with your friends if there is anybody that is interested in piano music. Let me know also about yourself when you started studying your experience. Now time to go to our lesson. Today I have decided to change completely the topic and to start a brand new project uh, from scratch that will last uh, probably about three months, at least three months. It's about uh, contemporary music. I have published uh, right now, along with this one, another tutorial, longer tutorial, and where I have been playing uh, and talking about I Giorni by Ludovico Einaudi, but from the, let's say, the official book, the official collection, the official album by Ludovico Einaudi, here I'm publishing it in the uh, simplified version. So, in case you're landing on this uh, video and you were looking for the original version of I Giorni, that is exactly this one, the original version, yeah, please refer to the link in the description below and you will be simply addressed to this one. This is the original version of a journey. Here I am simply uh, going to talk about, to explain and play for you the simplified version if you have this book, that is Ludovico Inaudi, graded pieces for piano. They are for the preparatory for the grade 1 and grade 2. This is a journey, I would say that is about grade 1, grade 2 level, yeah? Yeah, I would say grade 1 level, definitely. So, obviously you refer to the simple exercises and suggestions that are here, uh, on uh, page 25 of the book, mm, very simple, cl clear and straightforward. And uh, I want to simply show you how it sounds if you have this book and if you are interested in this version. The publisher is suggesting you to play it at about 124, 128 per crochets, it should sound 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and this is 124. So I'm going to play it for you. I believe that you know the meaning of the repeat sign that is here in between the first and the second line and in between the last two lines. It means that these two lines have to be played again. So you play, you play, when you arrive here you go back and then you carry on. When you start about 25, when you start the second last line of the second page, you go on, when you arrive here, you go back to bar 25 and up to the end. Let's play first of all one second. One and two and three and one and two and three and... Here we are, this is the journey in this very, very simplified version. <clears throat> if you will watch the other video, you will understand how uh, complicated it is, obviously. If you are a simple entry-level student, the key signature is different. In the original one we have two sharps, here nothing. It's uh, simply in A minor, I would say, in this case C major A minor. Because in contemporary music many times the key signature is a little bit 
the real mode is not that much clarified, not, not that clear. And this is one of the main aspects of the contemporary music many times. I will play now slightly slower to let you uh, percept the notes even more. Now playing it slower I'm not going to play it twice, respecting the repeat sign neither the first time nor the second time. So simply slowly, yeah? One and two and three and one and two and three and... Obviously, this is a simple preparation for uh, the authentic, uh, um, the real, the original, for the original version of the journey that, as you can see, is much more elaborated, much more complicated, obviously for bigger hands and uh, for students a little bit more advanced. Anyways, I suggest you to read the introduction, the, the exercises suggested on page 25, is uh, suggesting you to practice the flowing quaver pattern with your left hand Keep a relaxed wrist, is saying. These are the left hand notes at the end that you saw. Suggesting, uh, obviously, to start from a lower speed. Here, 124, 128. Here, from 108. Then he's talking about the right hand melody. The right hand melody line needs to be very legato, uh, to play smoothly. So this is the bound, yeah? This exercise reveals the slur which you should imagine. Try to maintain an even tone throughout the phrase. So legato, you play legato smoothly when you connect the notes very well and you don't split them in between the C and the B, no release, no breath. Going on, coordinate both ends and try to maintain the cantabile feel. Cantabile is a, an Italian word that means uh, the melody has to really sing, you have to imagine that somebody is singing the melody like and then so on. The left hand should be softer than the right hand, and that's all. So, same as I've clarified uh, in the other tutorial published today, the, the one uh, where I played uh, the e in the original version, I have published at 4 o'clock UK time on my artistic channel my version, my performance, recorded two years ago, more than two years ago, of this uh, piece played using the original sound of this piano. If you have enjoyed the tutorial, let me know by commenting. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel, thanks for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. All the best. <laughs>